Living aboard a boat full time and sailing long stretches is a beautiful way to live, but it has taken a toll on me in many ways. Today, I am hauling out a couple weeks earlier than planned to enjoy some extra time on land. Haulouts can be a sailor's enemy as well as best friend. We don't love to see our boat out of the water, but being in the yard makes it easier to work especially without the fear of small parts falling into the water, allows us to check and repair things we can't in the water, such as through holes, keels, rudders, and if we want to break, the yard is a safe place to leave the boat. I just got back from the gym and it's one hour till haul out. I'm a little anxious. Um, first of all, haul outs are not fun, um, especially on a monohaul. Okay, well, the two engines are pretty easy. Like you're backing into this tiny little slip and it's not like a car where you can just put on the brakes and stop. You have the wind and currents and buoys and other boats and it's... Once my hand's on the throttle, I don't really think about it, I just do it, but it's not the most fun um, thing. 20 minutes to haul out. This is Mako's first haul out, his first time in a yard. Um, I think it's time for a new leash. Really, really, really sad to leave the boat. Especially with so much not being done, but I did do a lot and I need a break. So it's time to haul out. Gonna get the anchor up. And maybe it could bring my phone up. Just kidding. I got on Find My iPhone last night and it said it was playing a sound. Doubt it. Uh, I also said it's 25 feet away, which is probably accurate. Guys, marine biology. Look, it's an animal. Probably a larva of some point, but I definitely learned in um, plankton class. Couldn't tell you what it was. I hope you guys can see how dirty this is. The bottom of this water is disgusting, obviously. With one prop, Mana hauls back up to one side and you have to be going like at least a few knots to be able to steer. So as you saw the last time I hauled out there, there's no room to turn. So you kind of have to back up the whole way. Um, but here it's going to be the same. So I'll go down the little channel and then um, turn around and back into it. It's another small slip. Whew. On the right side, the wind kind of dies in here. It's super tight.
The bottom paint and hole looked amazing. My only concern are some things on the keel, which I will be discussing with the yard when I return. I'm excited to announce that this episode is sponsored by Element. I'm really excited to support Element because hydration is one of the best things we can do for ourselves. Increased energy, higher levels of focus, and better sleep are just a few benefits of proper hydration. Element has created a science-backed electrolyte ratio of 1,000 milligrams of sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. These are minerals that are literally conducting electricity into our bodies to help regulate our nervous systems. Our nervous systems are one of the most important things for us to regulate. Element electrolytes have helped me feel the best I can, which has led to higher productivity in every aspect of my life. Supporting fasting, helping maintain blood pressure, improving digestion, and helping our skin. The benefits of taking Element are endless. Down here, especially in the summer, is hot. This means I'm losing my sodium at a pretty quick rate, and Element is helping me refuel and get those minerals back to where they need to be. Element electrolytes help me maintain constant energy throughout the day without having to increase my caffeine intake. This keeps me going from workouts in the morning, boat work during the day, and even computer work as taking electrolytes does help improve your cognitive function. I really like Element and I've tried a lot of different electrolyte powders throughout the years and I really support Element because of their science-backed mineral ratios combined with their ingredient label. They're not putting any of the stuff that you don't need into their electrolyte powder. Right now, Element is offering you as my viewers a free sample pack full of so many different flavors with any Element order. So go to the description and get your free sample pack today. So at Spice Island they have apartment rentals and so I'm about to check in and get some AC. <laughs> I'm in the apartment. Um, this is so cute. I need to find the AC first. Makeup! Makeup, come here. Come here, let me take your collar off. Come here. There you go. A full queen bed. I'm gonna sleep so well tonight. Now that I'm functioning a little more. Spice Island has these apartments for rent when you are on the hard and so if you do come here, check it out. Being in an apartment when you are on the hard is amazing. Like staying off the boat when you are on the hard is amazing. And I love it here because I'm literally in the yard. Like I open my door and I can see the boats. And oh my gosh, this apartment is so nice and such a treat. Full shower, full bathroom, a little kitchenette, um, fridge, freezer, microwave, kettle. And this is such a treat. I have unlimited power, so I don't have to worry about the inverter beeping at me first thing in the morning. I can take showers without it running onto the pavement. It's definitely a benefit of coming to Spice Island Marine. A lot of yards don't have this, and if you have to choose a yard down here, this is one reason to choose Spice Island because this is amazing. And I'm gonna keep telling you that this entire time I'm here. But um, now that I'm feeling the AC, oh, I never thought I'd be so excited to have AC in my life. Um, I'm gonna leave Mako. I'm gonna go back to the boat.
you happy. Mako. Mako. Hey. What are you trying to do? Really? Yeah, does that smell like the boat? I'm slowly getting packed up. I just walked like a mile to the phone place and a mile back. And um, I thought that was hot. And then I got on the boat to grab a few more things. I'm um, lotion because I actually need it with AC. I can handle heat. There's no way I'd be sanding the bottom of my boat right now. Like, also, side note, the bottom paint looks amazing still. There's still a few things on the keel I want to touch up and some little patches here and there, but the paint looks really good. Oh, are you scared? What happened? Anyway, it's so hot. The air's on 77 and it just feels amazing. These are all the things I need to do and there's probably more on the list, but we'll start there. Morning guys, um, it's so weird filming in a room, not the boat. Um, slept great, but Mako did not sleep at all. He ran around the entire room all freaking night. Gotta get Good morning, you guys. Um, today is Friday. Yesterday, I went straight to the boat from my workout and I just didn't stop. And I didn't take any camera gear with me because I went straight to the boat. But it was literally just cleaning um, and doing laundry. So the boat's looking pretty good. But today is taking apart the shaft seal. We're taking apart the shaft. Uh -uh. Makeup? Mm -mm. You're going. Um, and the more exciting thing is the welding guys are coming over and we're going to brainstorm the davit system with the hydrovane and they came over for a few minutes last night and on their way out and I, I told them it was going to be a mission and it's going to be a mission. So today's a big day and uh, I'm flying out Sunday. So I'm feeling really good about all this and see you on the boat. You're a mess. Another little update, the straps were put on yesterday. I got the dinghy super clean. It's gotten a little dirty because it's been sitting in the yard, but it looks much better. What do you think about it? Oh, and the mosquitoes are terrible. Here. Come on, bud, let's go. I had some family friends say that vanilla extract works, so I've been using that. <laughs> It shouldn't flop too far down though. It goes like more at an angle. I don't think that's going to be a problem. It shouldn't hit the dinghy or the data. The dinghy and, and the arch will be the most. I don't want this to be under the arch. This is going to be below, above oh, the arch. Oh, this has to be, okay. Yeah, no. Yeah. Take a few of this. We know we know we know we're not getting the 
I mean, I think that would be easier. Yeah, yeah, this is definitely so the, 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 the thing you remain here. And right, then and then you don't have to worry about. Yeah, yeah. Nice. And you know, you know how much. I figured we decide that once we see where everything fits or doesn't fit. I I have a lot of solar on the boat, but I just want to add more. Yeah. So I'm not really. Yeah, put some I'm very flexible with so, that. So, so what 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 we could do? We could um probably pick up the the arch and the davits, set up this, put it up, so we know everything when when the arch is up, with the dinghy up, this is high. Yeah, we're there. Okay. One of my favorite things about cruising is meeting so many amazing people. I met sailing vessel Sonder and Spanish Wells months ago, and we reunited here in Grenada. The day before I left, the girls came over to help out with a few things and played with Mako before we said goodbye. Shaft seals are not fun. I cannot wait for this to be fixed for good. getting the cutlass bearing off of the shaft. That's the hardest part. Um, getting the cutlass bearing onto the shaft is a hard part, but I guess that's a good thing because I know it's tight and not going anywhere. Um, perk of being on the hard is being able to pull on the prop. That would have taken me an hour upstairs for reference it is seriously like it's so nice out here inside is a sauna i don't think i've sweat so much in my entire life okay it's like 5 15 and this camera's almost dead my main camera's dead and um, that's not the main reason I'm done. Main reason I'm done is because I'm meeting friends for pizza in one hour. And I don't even know how I'm getting there. So I'm going to lock up the boat and go take a shower. It's the last night in Grenada. Uh, I'll walk you through everything in the morning. Um, she's doing pretty good. I was not able to get whatever the thing is um i'll put it in words on the screen because i don't remember the thing that connects the shaft to the transmission i couldn't get it off of the shaft and i spent so long on it the past two days and looks like i'm gonna hire someone to do that while i'm gone send me the measurements um i'm getting my fins I will be diving in Florida so you guys are gonna get some diving content still everything in here is wetsuits um, super excited boats doing good I'll walk you through the boat in the morning kind of everything but I'm excited to go back to AC and take a shower I'm almost packed First time in my life I've packed more than a few hours before, pretty sure. Oh, is that nice? <laughs> I see you've been working hard. 
Okay. One thing I really wanted to check was the keel, um, the keel bolts and such. So one thing I wanted to show you is it's been a few days on the hard and I'm still having water come through. Um, there is water in the bilge. I don't know how, where it came from. Has to be fresh, obviously. It's showing me that there's water coming through, so I guess it's a blessing that there was water in the bilge. It is the last morning on the boat. I fly out in three hours. So I'm going to, this morning I'm just gonna be cleaning up, final cleanup, just putting anything away that's out, but mostly clean up, make sure all the trash is out, make sure everything's cleaned. Um, shut everything up, take Starlink down. Sad to leave the boat, but I need a break. I need to be rejuvenated when I come back. I'm emptying the water tank and I have a lot more water than I thought I did, but I'll give you a little walkthrough, I guess. Master to have those water tanks on all tanks open. Ah, I forgot to put my dehumidifier. Fridge is all clean, kitchen's clean, and that's for friends to pick up, and that is for that stupid thing, so engine compartment's open, hydro vein stuff's in there, cushions and such are in there, Mako's food is shut, most of the hatch covers are over, the shade covers, traps I put, um, roach and ant traps out. There is more I could do. I could run fresh water through the engine. I, there's a lot I could do, but um, fridges and freezer will hopefully stay on, and that's all that I'm leaving on. Everything should be really happy and full in the next few days. I think that's it. Really weird leaving. Um, it's 10.47. Cockpit is put away. Your water lights. Doors going up. She's all locked up, and I am a sweaty mess. I've never left her for this long. I am sad to leave the boat and I do miss the highlight reel of this lifestyle already. Burnout is something I have been recovering from since high school and I am so grateful that I can take this break that I need knowing my boat is safe. I don't need to worry about bilge pumps, battery power, solar, or water for the next couple weeks and I am really looking forward to this break. appreciate you all supporting me through these sales and I am super excited to announce that I will get the chance to meet some of you at the Annapolis Boat Show this year. I will be at the content creators booth and I will be announcing those times as I find out but if you are coming to the show please stop and say hi and you can get five dollars off of each ticket by using the code in the description and I will put the link to book your tickets with the code in the description. Additionally with the Annapolis Boat Show, we have our second Cruisers Awards ceremony. Last year, I won the photo of the year, and this year I am running for both best Instagram and best YouTube channel. So if you would do me a favor, this link is also in the description. If you could click that link and enter your vote, it would be much appreciated. And the last, but one of the most important things, is that I could not be doing this without you guys, especially my patrons. And I will get the chance to meet some of you at my patron-only meetup during the Annapolis Boat Show. Those details will be posted on Patreon for that meetup. I cannot wait to see some of you, and I am so appreciative of all of your support and feedback all the time. So thank you guys so much, and see you next week.